Hi everyone, I'm Vinita and today I'm going to be talking about digital fasting. Am I meaning intermittent fasting? No. I'm actually talking about digital fasting. So unplugging a digital fasting or digital Sabbath is when you intentionally and deliberately and consciously stay away from uh, all gadgets and internet. So the gadgets could be smartphones, mobile, laptop or any other uh, device which has a screen uh, for a specified period of time. So usually it lasts for uh, a day but it could also be for a few hours. Uh, so honestly this is something that people around the world are uh, beginning to experiment with and uh, see that they're finding it beneficial. So some of you might wonder what is the need for digital fasting because um, all our work, all our communication, even ordering our basic, uh, you know, uh, ordering food to transport is all through the phone. Uh, but uh, somewhere um, people are seeing that technology is making us feel like we're busy all the time. Uh, being connected all the time has um, a lot of advantages, but also has a lot of disadvantages, which people are realizing. And I don't know whether you ex you've experienced it or not, but I definitely feel with the phone in our hand, there's never a dull moment and there's never really time to just pause, to just look around, uh, you know, actually uh, wait for uh, someone, uh, for example, you've gone for an appointment somewhere and you're waiting, uh, actually observing things around. And I find, uh, you know, when you have these in-between times when you're traveling or you're, uh, you know, waiting for someone, uh, those periods of time to me uh, are the time you are the times you get interesting thoughts you feel like talking to someone you observe people around you and um, that is why I wanted to share what is it that I do as digital fasting so like I mentioned uh, you can do it from a few hours or for a few days uh, or you can also keep a cut off you know till when you will um, use your gadgets so for me uh, I do digital fasting uh, every day Yes, every day. So what I have as my personal practice uh, and what I wanted to share with you so that if you were to try it out and benefit from it as well is uh, after 7 p.m. Um, I do not check my phone. Um, I most often switch it off um, and I switch it on again at 9 a.m. the next morning. Uh, in the interim, uh, my friends and very close um family members have uh, our landline yes we still have a landline and i think it's one of those things that has helped to bridge this gap where people can contact me but i'm not all the time connected to everyone uh, you might say oh it's a matter of self-discipline uh, but i just find this easier uh, so what I like to do is after seven, I, I might still use the laptop, uh, work on it sometimes or use it to read something. Uh, but very often what I like to do is I like to do all my thinking work at that time, uh, time to unwind, relax, spend time with family um, and sleep early. So one of the reasons people are not able to switch off uh, or sleep early is because of uh, keeping our phones with us getting them into our bed and having them, you know, with the light emitting on our face and our eyes, it's making us sleep lesser and lesser. And what I've seen is I feel I have a lot more focus, a lot more clarity. And honestly, I feel like I have a lot more time. Um, social media has, you know, reached our lives in such a big way that uh, most of us can't imagine without connecting it for a whole day or for a few hours. But ever, uh, ever so often, um, I sometimes switch off my phone on a Saturday night and I switch it on straight on Monday morning. And uh, you might fear that, oh, won't I miss out on work? Um, you know, how would people contact me? Uh, but I think what we are uh, missing is we weren't really uh, meant to be at uh, someone's beck and call 24 by 7. You know, uh, whoever we work for, whether it's a company or if you're a professional, uh, if you are, you know, disciplined with your time and your work and you make it uh, clear to people what is the time that they can reach you via email or phone, then people tend to respect that. And of course, I'm not suggesting you do what I do. I'm able to do this because I'm a professional and I work for myself so I can plan my hours. Um, so you pick uh, what time works for you. When can you switch off mentally? You might even keep your phone on but not check it 
and definitely have this practice that for one hour before you sleep at night and one hour after you wake up in the morning do not switch on your phone that's the least you can do if you can't do what i'm suggesting uh, you will find that one hour in the morning and in the night will feel really long and that's the best time to actually connect with your family or whoever you're living with and if you're by yourself connect with yourself because i think uh, whether it's our uh, spouses our parents our children uh, or other dear ones we are really missing out on time with them just because we are so hooked on to our phones and laptops uh, social media can be a great blessing but it's also sometimes too time consuming and uh, too invasive and it doesn't leave us alone and that's the reason i like to switch off and keep my time on social media as limited as possible so you can also figure out an alternative way for your uh, friends and family to be in touch with you i forgot to mention i also have a personal mobile phone so that if i'm not at home um, my uh, family and very close friends can still contact me so if you just get your mind around it you will be able to figure it out and figure how much of digital fasting you'd like to do um, i would definitely recommend you try it um, and see the difference you find in the quality of your life and the quality of the time you have every day Hope you like this video. Uh, keep watching and uh, send us suggestions on what other topics you'd like videos for. Thank you.